This is Dawn Compton, the pastor at Main Street Union Methodist Church, and I am here today to bring you our weekly Wednesday Word. Today I'm in our narthex, which is the area just outside our sanctuary, and I came today because I wanted just to share this beautiful Thanksgiving arrangements that we have out here to help um, our congregation and anyone that comes into our building to get into a thankful mood. Um, we have finished our most previous uh, worship series, Mighty Mentors. And before we get into our worship series for Advent, we are going to have the, a standalone service this Sunday that we are focusing on giving thanks to God for all that God uh, has done, is doing, and we know will continue to do in our lives. So this is a, a time of great thanksgiving. So I wanted to share these beautiful decorations and want to share this poem with you entitled, Be Thankful. I found this poem on the internet, and it says it's Poet Unknown. So if you hear this and know the poet, let me know so I can give them credit. I want to share this. I thought it was very appropriate. Maybe it can help you think about how to truly be thankful this Thanksgiving season. Be thankful that you don't already have everything you desire. If you did... What would there be to look forward to? Be thankful when you don't know something, for it gives you the opportunity to learn. Be thankful for the difficult times. During those times, you grow. Be thankful for your limitations, because they give you opportunities for improvement. Be thankful for each new challenge because it will build your strength and character. Be thankful for your mistakes. They will teach you valuable lessons. Be thankful when you're tired and weary because it means you've made a difference. It's easy to be thankful for the good things. A life of rich fulfillment comes to those who are also thankful for the setbacks. Gratitude can turn a negative into a positive. Find a way to be thankful for your troubles, and they can become your blessings. Friends, I hope you can spend this time as we are leading up to Thanksgiving Day to be in a mindset of gratitude, be in a mindset of thanking God for all that God has given us. I do want to let you know about a, a few announcements. One is we are participating with uh, the community in a community-wide Thanksgiving service that will be uh, this Sunday at 3 p.m. at the Bedford Christian Church. If you would like to participate in that, um, the service will be both inside their sanctuary as well as those that want to come and just pull into the parking lot, it will be broadcast so that you can hear it in your car and you can participate that way if you're still a little bit hesitant about coming to in-person services. But this Sunday also at 4 p.m., we will begin preparing uh, for Advent. We are having an activity called Anticipating Advent. And uh, you can make your own Advent wreath, put that together for you to take home and, and light the Advent candles and gather around the Advent wreath in your own home. Uh, we're going to be making some Christmas for you to have. We're going to be having some Christmas cookies, watching a Christmas movie, and just having a fun time together. Um, if you want to participate in making a wreath, let us know so we can make sure we have plenty of supplies for you. Um, we've got some wonderful Garden Club members that are going to be helping us in making those wreaths and decorating them. And it's going to be, uh, they're going to end up being gorgeous and something you'll be able to use year after year. So I hope you will uh, come and participate in that fun, anticipating Advent 
activity uh, this Sunday at 4 p.m. Also, I'll let you know, as part of the preparation for Advent, we are beginning our poinsettia orders. Uh, we always have so beautiful poinsettias that are decorating our sanctuary during the Advent and Christmas time. Um, if you would like to order a poinsettia in honor or memory of somebody or just to the glory of God and help us decorate the sanctuary, uh, we ask that those orders be in by next Sunday. That would be November 28th. Please turn in those orders by then. Um, you can call the church office. We can fill out an order form for you. Come by the church office. Um, but we do have those orders. And we'll be happy to add your name to that so we can celebrate uh, with the poinsettias this, this Advent season. Also, in Advent, we are going to be having our, our, our monthly... Um, fellowship time where we gather prior to the worship service and have some wonderful uh, snacks and goodies and we just uh, spend time with one another enjoying one another's company it's going to be on december 5th so we're changing sundays around it's going to be the first sunday of december um, and at this particular one we are going to be blessing our um, fellowship hall space uh, it was uh, renovated uh, in 2020, and some people still haven't seen it, uh, but we are going to be celebrating that space, and we're going to have a blessing of that space during that 10 to 10.30 time slot uh, just to celebrate uh, our, our re renovation and the new construction that was done down there and dedicating that space to God. And during that time, we're also going to be renaming that, that space. So you want to come and find out it's not going to be called Fellowship Hall any longer. We're giving it a new name to help us refocus how that space could be used uh, to the glory of God and for the benefit of the Bedford community. We are also beginning our work on collecting our Christmas baskets that we deliver to those who need to help them have a, a joyful and uh, just a blessed Christmas during this time. Um, included in the Wednesday Word written uh, announcements as well as in our Friday note written announcements, we have the listing of all of the items we would like to include in the baskets. If you would like to help with that, just let the church office know that you're planning on doing that so we can have a, a head count of how many baskets we have coming in. If you can't do a whole basket yourself, totally understand that. Um, and you just want to purchase some of the items, that's great. Just let us know what items you're going to be purchasing and, and do that. We ask that all of the items be in by December 13th, that Monday, so that we can get everything organized and set up. Um, we are going to be distributing the baskets on December 19th. If you also know of somebody who might could use one of the baskets, who might benefit from uh, that, be blessed this season by having one of those baskets, let the church office know that too so we can add their name to our list of those that will be receiving a basket this time. Now, another mission that we are helping with, um, this Main Street just does a great job of helping those in need and reaching out into the community and, and just helping those that just need a, a, a way to, to feel God's love in a, a tangible way. And so our New Beginnings uh, Circle, as part of our United Methodist Women group, are collecting some pajamas. We're asking these pajamas to be new pajamas, brand new pajamas for specifically for children, children of all ages. And uh, we're going to be adding those pajamas to the work that the um, Bedford Christmas Station does. Um, they hand out uh, items. They do a Christmas shopping season uh, during this time of the year. And we need some, they need some pajamas to add to their work um, and what they're going to be able to hand out. So. If you want to help do that, get some pajamas and bring them by the church office and we will uh, deliver those to the Bedford uh, Christmas station and add that to what they are doing. Friends, I hope you have a great rest of the week that you will worship with us this Sunday as we have our uh, Thanksgiving service here at Main Street. Uh, we will worship in person at 1030 or you can worship with us online. I look forward to seeing you then. God bless.